Hello, freak bitches. And aren't binary star systems really common? Yeah, more than half the stars you see in the night sky are binary or multiple systems. In fact, the iconic image from Star Wars, the original Star Wars movie, before they numbered them, I think, what, what Star Wars right. four, Tatooine, right? Uh, Is that where they were? Well, yeah, whatever, whatever <laughs> that 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 desert planet that Luke was on, and he comes out after visiting his was what is his step parent? No, his. Adoptive parents, well, I don't uh, remember whoever, whoever he was visiting. He comes out and you see a double sunset. Oh. So that's basically the only accurate science in the entire series. <laughs> that's Star, it? Star Wars series. <laughs> oh. That was another thing I really enjoyed is you're, you're taking a part of gravity, oh, the movie oh. Gravity, and how many people got mad at the you for movie. that? The movie, yeah. You know, so I stopped commenting on movies. I don't need to <coughs> piss people off. I, these are, <laughs> when I watch a movie, I'm having those thoughts. Anyway, so I might as well share them with people if you're interested. So I did just that. And then people, the last time I did it was for Star Wars The Force Awakens, uh, mm -hmm. Star Wars 7. I had a series of tweets. You know, one of them was um, BB-8, a smooth, rolling, metal, spherical ball, would have skidded uncontrollably on sand. People got angry. Someone, someone <laughs> tweeted back, shut the fuck up, okay? That's so, so I said, okay, I'm not here to get people angry. I'm just here to enlighten, to help people enhance their movie going experience. But to the extent that it is not accomplishing this, I don't need to do it. I'm just saying, I don't, I'm an educator. I, I thought I was being nice. I don't need to do so. I haven't tweeted about a movie since then. I got tweets don't I could post. Don't let them stop I, you. I, could, I have tweets I could post about Arrival. Please about, do. Well, I, I didn't watch that. You know, well, okay. I watched a little bit of it. I shut it off. Okay. No, you got to give it a chance. I, as soon as I see a movie that starts out, I don't, spoiler alert, starts out with a sick kid, I'm like, fuck you. No. <laughs> I know what you're doing. <laughs> no, in fact, it's very not about the kid. I'm sure. That's what I keep hearing. It's totally not about the kid. Jamie hated it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you just give it a chance. <clears throat> uh, but but anyhow. So I just stop. Maybe I'll come back. But I'm. I'm Do it. Yeah. People need to know. Yeah. Like gravity. That was good that you explained that the, the, the not only is this not plausible, those two satellites aren't anywhere near each other. They're, oh my gosh. Then they were said, oh, there's the there's the International Space Station and I'm on the Chinese Space Station. Let me just jet pack my way there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you realize, excuse me, <laughs> lady, do you, <laughs> hey lady, do you know how far away these are from one another? You can just jet around from one space station to another? No, can't do it. They're tens of thousands of miles from one another. For goodness sake. So, but anyhow, so I, yeah, you remember these Please tweets. Please keep doing it. It was like 15 tweets, and I didn't know. That was when I realized, like, the press was reading my movie tweets. Oh. And those tweets, this is now a couple of years ago when Gravity came out with Sandra Bullock and, 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 um, uh, uh, what's the dude's name? George Clooney. George Clooney. So I, I tweeted it, and they got talked about on the, t on the Today Show, set, the set, the weekend Today Show on NBC. Then it was talked about on NBC Nightly News. Then my tweets were talked about on Saturday Night Live's The Weekend Update. It was like the NBC trifecta. And I said, <laughs> my gosh, this was, I had not, that was not the point. I didn't seek this. It's fine, I'm glad they, they are reacting this way because that means they care about the science maybe. But what Seth Meyers did, because he was doing Weekend Update at the time, he said, uh, astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson harshly criticized the movie Gravity, uh, saying it has, contains a number of scientific inaccuracies. For example, there is no way George Clooney would have spent that much time talking to a woman his own age. Ah, <laughs> that's hilarious. I think Sandra Bullock's still younger than George Clooney, though. So they should have got their facts right. But, yeah, but not by much. I mean, yeah, they were in, they were in the same neighborhood. <laughs> yes, they're yeah, in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I think it's important. I think that you, you enjoy the movie. It's great. It's fun and everything like that. But it's important to point out what the science errors are. I think... I, I think the, the I think the movie could have done better. Honestly, yeah, I think they could have made the same movie. By the way, I did like the movie. People thought I didn't like the movie when all I was doing was pointing out things they got wrong. Um, by the way, they did some stunning things correctly. For example, this is this is brilliant. If you're in zero g, a fire basically puts itself out. So think about it. when you burn a candle on Earth. Uh, so you light the wick. Does people have candles anymore? They forgot what a candle is. You light it with a match that you used to get from smoking <laughs> lounges at bars. All right, so you light the candle, and it stays lit. The fuel is the wax. The oxygen continually 
comes in because it heats the air around it and the air rises. Hot air rises and fresh air comes in from below and has fresh oxygen. So the candle will stay lit until it burns all the way down. In space, if you light a candle, you can light the candle. It'll heat the air, but the air will not know where to go because it's not lighter than everything because it's in zero G. It'll stay clustered around the candle. The candle will use up all the oxygen in that bubble and then it'll put itself out. They did this in the movie. So why do they have some good they, science? They, because they, I mean, you can't think of everything. Why so, don't they just have you on staff? Well, no, they bring you in. Well, no, because maybe with my I couldn't movie? think of anything. If I, so you can't think of everything. So I wasn't judgmental so much as this movie. The fact that it got so much right is what put it on my map to criticize what it got wrong. That makes sense. Uh, does that make that make yes. sense? Okay, like it's, the it, hair. It earned the, the hair. right. Yeah, oh, the hair, her bangs should have been, been floating. Floating all over the place, Now, if right? you might think, am, am I nitpicky? No, because if you look at any picture of somebody with hair, okay, in space, in zero G, their hair is flying everywhere. It's the first thing you notice about them. It is so obvious, like, wow, that's the cool. You're not thinking about the spaceship or the Thai technology. You're looking at the hair doing stuff you will never see happen on Earth unless someone is, like, underwater and they're jiggling their head. So they would have to film it all in zero gravity. They would have to film it all in one of those drop things. Yeah, or the drop thing. Yeah, they'd have to be clever about it. And uh, she only had bangs. That's all you had to right. figure out how to do. They did other clever things. So anyway, that's all I did. Please, by the way, in all fairness to movies, I'll call out something that's good. The, a science that a movie got right that otherwise got no science right. I'll be I'm the first in line to do that. Like what? Oh, uh, in the movie Monsters Inc. Oh my gosh! The, the, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't th you didn't think I was going there, did you? No. Uh, those doors were four dimensional portals to to another. Th 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 that's possible. Well, if you had four dimensions, that's what it would look like. Do you remember the movie? You yes. Open, they take the doors home. Yes. They open the door, and they're in the closet. Of the kid that they're going to terrorize. Yes, you—that's a wormhole. That's what—that is what access to the fourth dimension looks like. Do you think scientifically that's possible one day? I, don't, I hope people... so. I hope so. Really? Because here's the example: we, we, we've got a nice broad desk we here at, at at this interview, right? So desk is two dimensions. It's got length and width, and I can start putting papers on this desk, and I can lay them out mosaic style, and then all of a sudden I have no more room to put a sheet of paper. If I'm an ant living in this surface of the desk, I say, no more room. But wait a minute, we are three-dimensional people. And I can put an organizer and, and, and stack things vertically. So I can take a sheet of paper, and now I can put it higher up than the surface of the desk. The ant will say, where did it go? Oh my gosh, it disappeared in some portal. Where? No, no, what, what is that? It went into the third dimension and the ant bound to, uh, ant obviously is a, th a three dimensional thing. Right. W imagine it's, it only lives in two dimensions. You would have made that paper disappear into a third dimension and it will have no clue where it went because you had a portal, you had access to that extra dimension. So. Look at how much you can store on a desk when you have access to a third dimension above it. Vastly more than just papers mosaicked out on the surface. So now let's up this example by a dimension. You're storing boxes in a room. Oh, I ran out of room. No, you didn't. Let's open this four dimensional door. You open it, put the boxes through the door, close the door. Box is gone. That'd be awesome for hoarders. You, you, uh, <laughs> you look around the other side of the, right. the the door, there's nothing there. Right. The Your side of the door, nothing there. It's just a door. That is a portal to a fourth dimension mm -hmm. that can hold vastly more content than what is what you're stuck storing in the three-dimensional space of your room. Now, that so, concept, So, so though, that's, that's a brilliant concept. And even though it has monsters that don't exist, that all speak English, and one of them is a cyclops, and one of them is a, you know, I'm not judging the biophysiology of these creatures, but they got the physics of, of, of four-dimensional portals completely accurate. Now, the concept of dimensions is where it gets really abstract with people. I love me some dimensions. And it is abstract. It is. Now, and that's why you, 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 you take, let the math take you into those higher dimensions because our intuition will, not, will fail for us. <laughs>